Peace. Oh, please keep your mind at ease. It's obvious. If you're having lucid dreams and astral projections, watch till the end of the video so you can learn how to stop these experiences from happening. Like a solar flare, yeah, we keep it bright. Take a look into the sky, yeah, I be taking flight. 2020 vision, everything gon' be alright. Ascending to new heights with my third eye. Elevate your frequency, ain't no other way to be. When we rise into 5D, e, feel the love strong. Open your chakras, can't be locked to energy hot. Hit that like button because it's gonna help push this video out to a lot more people and I would really appreciate that. So I got this comment on my Instagram post. It, he wrote, yo homie, do you have a video about how to suppress dreams or lucid dreams? I know most want them, but genuinely, they have been causing me a lot of physical daily stress and anxiety because of the vividness and also the nightmares and stuff. Let me, let me know, man. I know you're the expert in these fields. So that's the thing with lucid dreams and astral projections, you can have experiences that you just, you're just not ready for. Like you, it can turn into, it could possibly turn into a nightmare. So number one, don't try to induce a lucid dream or astral projection if you're not ready to have your world shattered. If you, if you do have a lucid dream or astral projection experience, you may have your whole world, your whole paradigms shattered because you'll see, you, you'll realize like there's so much more to this physical reality. You'll start to realize that, you know, it's not just this physical world, this physical life. Like lucid dreaming astral projection is just another, it's just another level to this life. And if you're not, if you haven't experienced something like this, like it, it could just blow you away and it could cause stress. It can cause anxiety because this is something big. Like we're not used to this kind of thing. We're not taught about these kinds of things like lucid, lucid dreaming astral projection and dimensions. We're not taught about these things. So we are not primed, we are not ready for these kinds of experiences in most cases. You'll start to realize that a lucid dream is basically just like real life. So it's a lucid dream is basically real life, but the thing in a lucid dream is there is a just a time delay. So you can literally in this real life, in this real physical world, create anything you want, manifest anything you want, but there's just a time delay once you start having once you have a lucid dream and you could actually make things manifest right in front of you you it'll it'll just feel so real it'll feel so real and that's exactly what real life is it is a, another type of lucid dream but there's a time delay number two don't try to induce lucid dreams or astral projections if you have not gotten over most of your traumas because if you have not gotten over most of your traumas like these things they're in your subconscious they are still in they're still influencing you on a normal basis it's in your subconscious and this can affect your lucid dreams like it can it can turn it into a nightmare because these traumas if they're not resolved if you haven't come to peace with these certain things that happened in your past these things can start to manifest in your dreams, right? It could scare you, it could really scare you, frighten you, and cause you, just like this person sent me this message, daily stress because they have these nightmares and it's, it's something that they just can't stop thinking about because it's just that real feeling. Three, don't try to induce lucid dreams or astral projections if you're just not in a good mind state overall. If you have anxiety, a lot of anxiety about things, just emotional problems going on, like things are just going on in your life and it's causing you a lot of emotional turmoil. <laughs> because if you are, if, if same thing as with the traumas, it's just, if you're not in a good mental place, like this is really taking up a good part of your subconscious as well so it's see it's it's also the same thing it's gonna it can affect your lucid dreams and astral projections because what it is when you're lucid dreaming astral projection it's like a mirror and dreams are typically they like to show you what is going on in your subconscious things that certain emotions that you need to pay attention to because it wants it wants you to realize certain things so Many times it is your subconscious that is coming through. If you're having a lot of emotional things going on in your day-to-day -day basis and it's certain, a lot of anxieties, then these things, you might not have the best, you might not have the best dreams. If you haven't have, if, you, if you're not able to possibly have a good grasp over your emotions on a day-to-day -day basis, when you have a lucid dream, 
you might not be able to exactly control your dream the way you want to because if you if you can't overcome these things in your normal day-to-day -day life how are you gonna how are you gonna make how are you gonna make something amazing happen in your lucid dream you know what i mean it's like it's kind of it's kind of difficult it, to change your to change your dream around because you're not able to do it in normal day-to-day -day life so I also i messaged this person i messaged them i dm them and i wanted to ask i wanted to find out do you meditate so i asked them do you meditate they said they do not they don't meditate so that was the, the thing that i knew was key in uh, all of this really it was a big thing number four don't try to induce lucid dreaming or astral projection if you don't meditate because what meditation is is this is your learning this is the learning that is necessary for you to have these experiences it gets you used to different states of consciousness but not only that your brain is literally changing as you meditate when you're meditating the fear center of your brain becomes diminished every single time you're meditating new neural connections are being created and neural connections in the fear center are being destroyed this has been scientifically shown through brain scans so meditation can actually help you help induce lucid dreams and astral projections but the thing is if you're meditating on a daily basis then you're already doing the mental work you're doing the mental work to overcome your traumas your anxieties to make peace your normal your normal homeostasis so if you're doing this work with meditation now you're decreasing the neural the neural connections that have to do with fears anxieties traumas because when you are in the alpha and theta states your brain waves when you're in these states and you get these certain experiences that you might have had in the past that are like traumatizing or things that give you anxiety you are able to overcome them a lot easier because now that you're in this in this certain frequency this certain frequency of theta and alpha now you're able to let these things go a lot easier now you're helping to prepare your brain in a way that you can have a lucid dream you can have an astral projection and it won't and you'll be able to have an experience that you desire so you have you'll be able to have like more control over it and you won't have your subconscious will not be so much filled with these negative things that are going on in your daily life if you have something happen in your in your lucid dream you'll be able to change the circumstance around because now you have you've trained yourself you've you've gone through the training necessary to have these experiences so it's like don't just dive into lucid dreaming and astral projection because you got to really prepare yourself because it is it is a very powerful thing it's very powerful thing when you're in this world you're immersed in this world and it is so vivid so realistic and you're not just in your physical body so you know what i mean so here is how to stop it now i checked out uh, this person's stories and he wrote in his stories that what he was doing to try to get rid of these lucid dreams and astral projections is they would smoke weed and they were doing this because they because what it does if you do if you do smoke weed it it gets it lowers the REM cycle so you, you're not REM cycles are is the state of sleep where you can have vivid experiences with lucid dreams and you can have astral projections the the REM cycles rapid eye movement is the perfect cycle for lucid dreaming and it gets rid of it that's basically what it's doing it's making it so tiny like you can barely even have a lucid dream if you're smoking a lot so i don't recommend i don't recommend taking any kind of drugs or substances like that to get rid of your lucid dreams or astral projections i don't recommend that because then you're just you're just giving yourself this new attachment right you're giving yourself a new attachment and now this is this is causing you even more emotional turmoil what i recommend to not induce lucid dreaming or astral projection experiences is number one if you're sleeping on your back then that's not a good thing <laughs> because when you sleep on your back that actually increases the chances of having a lucid dream or astral projection sleep paralysis it increases it greatly so sleep on your side or sleep on your left side your right side whatever you want sleep on either side because that's going to help you a lot 
when you're sleeping on your back, it helps to wake up your mind. So that's that's how I lucid dream and astral project. I always sleep on my back. I'm always laying on my back. Don't dream journal, all right? You know, you're going, you gotta get yourself in order. First, you gotta, you gotta do your meditations. You gotta do your meditations, overcome these traumas, your anxieties. So just, just forget about the dream journals for now. Forget about the dream journals. Yes, I love dream journaling. I always recommend dream journaling because it can really give you give you notes give you ideas about what's going on in in your in your in your present life and also in your future what can happen in your future it gives you it gives you signals it gives you tips like oh you got to pay you got to pay attention to these certain things so actually you know if you are going through these nightmares take note take, do take note what specifically is it because it can give you an idea of something that you need to deal with in your life you need to deal with in your life and something that you can bring into your meditation so that you can overcome it later if you're not dream journaling though if you're not dream journaling it's like you think about your dreams less try to think about your dreams less and during the day, you could also minimize your caffeine intake so that way when you're going to bed, your mind is not as active. When you're sleeping, your mind is not as active. During the day, try to get some more exercise. Getting some exercise is also super great because if you're really working out, you're really working hard during the day, you're, you're getting really tired, your brain is not going to be so awake that you're going to have these lucid dreams and astral projections. Next, try to don't try not to sleep too long. If you're sleeping like nine hours every single day, try to sleep like eight or seven. But don't don't sleep less than six. But this the main point of this is to sleep less in the rapid eye movement cycle. Yes, it is it is very important for your health. But if if you're going through these traumatic experiences, then it's it's okay. You're you're still gonna be healthy. But if you're if you're not sleeping as long, then that's gonna give you less chances of going into these lucid states. And when you do wake up, just get up. Literally, if, if when your alarm goes off, like get up and start your day. Don't try to go back to sleep. Don't because now, once you've already waken up, the next time you're gonna go to sleep, your mind is already gonna be way more awake. It's gonna be a lot more awake. It's gonna give you a lot more opportunities to go through these lucid lucid experiences so when your alarm goes off just just get up start your day don't go back to bed and these are pretty much the top things i feel like i would these are pretty much the top things i would recommend for not lucid dreaming and astral projecting say you do get a lucid dream or astral projection a lot of times people ask how do you get out of these experiences right to get out of these experiences try to think of your physical body think of your physical body think of even moving your physical body and many times this does help you even you can close your eyes in your astral projection or lucid dream you can close your eyes and that'll help you wake up too these are the top things that you can do for getting out of your lucid dreams and astral projections if you end up just having another lucid dream or astral projection then just try it again just keep trying it and it will eventually work Subscribe if you like videos like this and I have a lot more Astro and Lucid videos. Till next time, peace. Oh, please keep your mind at ease. It's obvious.